All right, I figured I'd give you guys a walkthrough of the Gamma Progression 2 ELS. Uh, it's really it's pretty basic, not a whole lot of bells and whistles, not like Biardo. Um, it's still a good solid machine. I've had this one for a few years now. I uh, used to have two of them. Sold one to a high school out in California. Uh, I've strung NCAA tournament on both of them before, and they handled everything very well. Uh, in fact, I'm set up today for NCAA tournament, but I'm only bringing the one machine. I usually bring my big Wilson machine, but today I just, or this week, I'm just going to bring this one. I'm only doing a girls hosting site this year. So, as y'all know, women don't break strings very often, and they don't, I probably won't get 100 rackets. I'll probably get about 20 or 25. So anyway, just brought out the, the small machine. But anyway. Just a quick little run through your tension head. Uh, let's see, here in the back. If I can get all this, you got your power switch. Uh, this down here is for the foot pedal. I think the foot pedal is pretty worthless. Uh, power cable. This is for the string measurer, which I've called them before. They say they're trying to come out with one. I don't think they will. Uh, what it's really for, that's the same... Uh, tension head that's on the 6900 that has the built-in string measuring so that's what it's actually for so I doubt they'll ever come out with a standalone string measure don't don't really need it um, tension button is up here is it that that's why I think the foot pedal is pretty worthless I mean I had the foot pedal on a 6900 once I tried to step on it, I kept kicking it all over the place uh, obviously it's on the stand, but I tried to kick it. I kept hitting the stand and So anyway, but when you wrap your string you come out you're already right here at the button. So might as well just hit the button mm -hmm. See you can go in one pound increments or ten pound increments uh, You have I think there's six memories in here. I Don't think I have anything said actually now. Nah, I got that one at 50 You can do pounds you can do kilograms this again, this is for the, uh, the string measurer, which obviously we don't have on this model. Uh, you got knot button, which adds 10% to your knot. This is your puller head speed. You can go either fast, medium, or slow. It defaults to fast, and I just leave it on fast whenever it defaults. This is your pre-stretch button. You can do either a 10% or a 20% pre-stretch. Uh, Test button. This is also, I believe, how you calibrate. You hold the button down when you turn it on, and uh, then you can do a calibration uh, return. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't even know what that one does. I know it does something. Uh, when you first get the machine, over here, there will be a screw. Make sure you take the screw out. It's a shipping screw to keep the weight immobile. Uh, the one I sold to California, I put the shipping screw back in there, and he kept breaking his string. So he called me up, told me it was defective, and I told him to take the screw out so it worked. Uh, turntable, yeah, pretty basic. I mean, it, it does a good job. Uh, something I've advised people to do. I see a lot of guys that'll buy these machines and they'll loosen the post up and uh, keep adjusting the post for every racket. Just run your standards out. That's all you got to do. I mean, I've got my post. I don't know what is that about an inch from each corner, and I don't do racquetball rackets. But other than that, I don't think I've run into a tennis racket yet. I can't mount with it. In this setup, yeah. See, each arm is individual. Right here, this is for your standards. Uh, these you can loosen them up; they'll swivel a little bit for you, or you can tighten them down to where they're immobile. Your clamps, they swivel pretty well. They move pretty well. Uh, maybe a little too well sometimes. Uh, they do a good job. I mean, I don't have any problems with the clamps. They get dirty quite a, pretty easy. Uh, my Biardo, I clean about every 20 rackets. This one, I clean about every 10 rackets. Mm, table lock. Here's your table lock it's down here. Uh, and, it, and it does really, really does do a great job. It's, let's see if I can show you. It's a geared wheel that when you do this it pops out a little couple of teeth that engages that wheel so it does a, does a really good job I like the table lock um only complaint about it is if you really look at it you got all the knobs 
Uh, down here you got all the screws, you got these. Uh, string as you're pulling string. I guess if you pull it and let it go, it's not a problem, but I always hold the end of my, in my fingers. So as I pull it, I get little loops of string and I hang up on everything. It seems like even the feet down here at the bottom so you can set it on a table. But anyway, it's a good machine. I'd highly recommend it to anybody. I mean, machine and stand gonna run you about $1,300, $1,350 dollars, somewhere in that area. But still, it's a good solid machine. It's a good starter machine. If you're trying to upgrade from a crank or drop weight or something, I'd definitely recommend this. I've never, like I said, I've never had any problems with them. And this is my second one. The first one I had, I don't know, three, four years. This one I've had for several years. And again, you can you can run numerous rackets on it. I've, I've strung 33 rackets in a day on this machine once. So it does do a good job. Anyway, hope you like it.